There are over 1,840 sound recording studios in the United States. At least the last time someone actually put forth the effort of counting, there were, which happened to be in 2017. I'm for certain there are at least 2,000 plus by now, seeing that this industry is growing at a rapid pace. You see, back in the days, I'm talking 1980s, everyone recorded on multi-track tape recorders. Sound quality wasn't what it is today, but it was definitely a step forward. Around the same time, recording studios were beginning to become the norm because of cassette tapes. Recording at home became very doable. The days of having to book at a big fancy studio were changing and it was no longer the case. Now earlier when I mentioned there were 2,000 plus sound recording studios in the United States, that number in no way included the thousands of home studios we have in the United States today. I mean, I'm recording this from my home studio as we speak. See, in 1989, Sound Tools introduced N-A-M-M, or you could say NAM, which would later become Pro Tools. They laid the grounds for our very first digital audio workstation. As we all know, this changed the game forever. Early on, there was a strong mixture of digital tracking while still using analog gear to record, mix, and master. These days, you can record, mix, and master without touching a single piece of analog gear. Outside of your mic and interface, I mean, if you choose so, some people use USB microphones and never touch an interface. Technology has improved so drastically that sound-treated recording booths are now substituted for living rooms, hotels, garages, and any other place you can comfortably set up a computer and a microphone. Once upon a time, you had to book studio time and go to a professional. These days, you can simply become the professional. Every day, people are online learning how to mix and master, what dolls they should use, what plugins they should buy, what equipment they should invest in. You even have people selling vocal presets to give beginners a head start. Hey, if you use Mixcraft 9 and need a preset, <laughs> I'm your guy. You want to know the real reason I made this video? Well, I recently seen a video of Lil Durk recording with DJ Khaled. And it seemed they were in a typical room turned studio. No big fancy studio, just a room with some pricey gear being that they are who they are. But growing up, I always wanted to record in a major studio until I discovered the beauty of having a home studio. Technology has reached a point where I can crank out a song just as good as the big studio guys. Hey, sometimes people I know who go to fancy studios realize my quality is somewhat better than theirs. I really believe it's all in technique. And yes, gear does play a role, but not enough to make someone who lacks experience better than someone who has the experience. I can guarantee there are far more home studios than actual recording studios but I'd be lying if I said my goal wasn't to one day turn my home studio into a big studio. Ironically, I also seen a video of NBA Youngboy recording a song. And he was sitting on the couch in the room with a mic propped in front of him with headphones bleeding through. But that in no way affected the end product of that song. I guess what I'm trying to get to is what was once required <laughs> is now an option. You can now crank out hits from the comfort of your home without having to sacrifice overall quality. And with the increase in dolls and the price difference to help everyone get started no matter their budget and how famous analog gear has been transformed into way more affordable plugins, I say the process of recording music has changed forever and continues to evolve. I personally enjoy the quality analog gear provides over plugins, but maybe we could talk about that in another video. With recording music being doable with very little capital, we have seen an increase in artists, which could be good or bad. But remember, fans aren't limited to one artist. They're allowed to like multiple. So trust me when I say if being an artist is something you truly desire, there's more than enough room for you. Another point I have to make before concluding this video is you need to use what you have. Trust me, it's enough. Study what you have and master it. I know guys making bangers off of cell phones, so never sell yourself short. I need y'all to comment down below and tell me how and where do you record? Do you prefer big studios or home studios? Do you prefer analog gear or fully digital? Let me know.